Hello Cosmic, it's great to be back. I've still got a poorly leg, but I'm getting a lot better. And thank you for all your kind words, your cards, and even those of you that have come to visit me. I've really appreciated it. And I've been keeping up to date with what you've been doing. And I know you've been looking at miracles. So let's look at another one today. And let's get straight in by reading the Bible. We're reading from Luke chapter 8, verses 43 to 48. A woman in the crowd had suffered for 12 years with constant bleeding and she could find no cure. Coming up behind Jesus, she touched the fringe of his robe. Immediately, the bleeding stopped. Who touched me, Jesus asked. Everyone denied it. Peter said, Master, this whole crowd is pressing up against you. But Jesus said, someone deliberately touched me. For I felt healing power go out from me. When the woman realised that she could not stay hidden, she began to tremble and fell to her knees in front of him. The whole crowd heard her explain why she had touched him and that she'd been immediately healed. Daughter, he said to her, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. What an amazing story. Here was a woman who'd been ill for 12 years. That's a long time. In fact, that's longer than most of you. No, that's longer than all of you have been alive. 12 years. She'd sought so much help from so many different people. And she didn't have the NHS like we do in England. She would have had to pain to see doctors and to get advice from people. And no one could make her better. In fact, if anything, she stayed the same or it got worse. And she got to the point where she had lost all hope in anyone helping her. But she heard about Jesus and she had faith that he could make a difference to her life. And so she went out in public to see this Jesus, to go and see. She thought to herself, if I could just touch him, then I know he will heal me. Even though she wasn't meant to be out, she pushed through this crowd and she touches the robe of Jesus, just the edge of a garment that he's wearing. And immediately she's healed. And Jesus notes straight away, even though everybody's touching him and he's rubbing up against people and loads of people were touching him, he notices that this one person has touched him with intention of receiving healing. And her life is changed forever. Immediately her problem stops. She's not bleeding anymore. She's better. And Jesus wants to know who it is. He doesn't just think, oh, it doesn't matter. He wants to know because he wants to encourage. He doesn't tell her off. He looks at her and he calls her daughter. He gives her a relationship with him that she wasn't looking for or expected. He calls her daughter, showing her that he loves her and that God loves her. And that's why she's been healed, because of her faith in Jesus and in God. That is an amazing story. You see, none of us can meet Jesus and walk away the same. We're always going to be transformed. Simon gave you a challenge the other week asking you where you might see God in your ordinary lives. It was fantastic to hear from Grace to say that she'd heard, uh, felt God at work in her life and felt a miracle because she was worried about things. She prayed about school and she had a time at school that wasn't so bad and she was really grateful. So that's fantastic that Grace is able to tell people, including us, about that experience that she had. See, we too can exercise our faith when we speak out the truth about God's promises. Simon read to you last week from 2 Corinthians 5.17, where it says, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone and the new has come. And even if it doesn't feel like that, if we keep reading those verses out loud and saying them, then we are proclaiming God's truth and we're putting our faith in the things that he promises to us. See, when we meet Jesus, we cannot remain the same. We will be transformed. Healing takes place. We're given a new identity and we have his peace. I hope you take this opportunity this week to tell your friends about how amazing Jesus is and how much he loves you and he loves them. Take care. And don't forget to send in your pictures. Don't forget to tell us your stories about how God has done amazing things in your life this week. All the best. Bye.